In this video, we're going to solve this problem where we've got a parabola having an equation y squared equals minus 8x. And first of all, we need to sketch the curve. OK, so when sketching this curve, what that minus sign is going to do is if it wasn't a minus, we'd be drawing it this way around. So with the minus, it draws this way around. OK? Like that. And just like I did in the previous video, I would probably choose a point of reference um, just, to, just to kind of like uh, make it identify as this curve rather than y squared equals minus 100x, for example. So I'm going to choose the point 1. Now, what would the y value be? OK, oh, sorry, minus 1. <laughs> Not 1, minus 1. Um, well, actually, if I, I, if I have it as minus 2, then I can make it a nice square number, can't I? Minus 8 times minus 2 is 16. So y would be 4. So minus 2, 4 is a point on the curve. OK, so that's perfectly fine. Right, find any points of intersection between the curve and the line 2x plus 3y equals 9. So the first thing I would do is rearrange this to get y equals. So y is equal to 9, take away 2x, then divided by 3. So 3, take away 2 thirds x. Right, then I'm going to substitute it in. So 3, take away 2 thirds x squared is equal to minus 8x. So this is 9, and uh, 3 times minus 2 thirds is minus 2. Double that is minus 4, so minus 4x. And we've got plus 4 ninths x squared equals minus 8x. Right, let's, um, let's multiply through by 9 to get rid of the fraction. So 81 take away 36x plus 4x squared. Um, is equal to minus 72x. So we have 4x squared. Uh, 36x, so minus 36x plus 72x will be uh, plus 36x. We've got the plus 81. OK, now, um, that is actually... 2x plus 9 all squared equals 0. So x must be equal to minus 9 halves. So there's only one point of intersection. So this line must be a tangent to the curve. So when x equals minus 9 halves, y is equal to 3 take away 2 thirds of minus 9 halves. So 3 take away 2 thirds times minus 9 halves. That gets a 6. So minus 9 halves, 6, is the only point of intersection. And so the, the line must be a tangent to the curve. 